Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Setting up a new medical practice is a big, exciting job, one that every private practice professional has faced. You may be feeling a bit overwhelmed when thinking about all the different areas of your business that need to be established. The most important part of setting up your new practice is planning ahead. Before you dive in and start signing contracts or applying for financing, it's important to have a broad overview of what you'll need. Every new healthcare practice needs a strategic business plan, a clear-cut budget, legal and financial support, insurance, credentialing, facilities, and staffing. While it may feel like you've been buried by a mountain of to-dos, starting a new practice can be a clear-cut, smooth, even enjoyable process. The key is planning and proper education about exactly what you need to do and when. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Opening your own medical practice can feel like an unsolvable mystery. How do you know you're ready? What exactly do you need to get started? What about credentialing, certifications, and all of the business-related items that have to be put in place before you do? Luckily, preparing to open a medical practice is as easy as following this simple checklist. In order to open your own practice, you're going to need 1. Training and Certifications Make sure you have the proper training and certifications to independently practice medicine in your chosen field. Two. A business entity with a tax ID number. Choose from a sole proprietorship, LLC, or medical corporation. 3. Contracts with insurance companies. Choose which providers you'd like to work with and establish your terms before opening your business. 4. A billing department. Whether you hire someone in-house or outsource your billing, having a way to collect and process payments is crucial to your business's success. You're also going to need 5 the proper credentials. 6. Administrative and medical support staff. 7. Business and malpractice insurance. And 8. An office location. This checklist is by no means exhaustive, but it gives you a strong overview of the areas you'll need to address before opening your medical practice. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. So you're ready to open your own medical practice. Congratulations! But how can you tell if you're just ready in theory or if you're actually ready to admit your first patient or client? The key to opening the doors to your very own practice is to determine a realistic timeline that will set you and your practice up for maximum success. If possible, give yourself a minimum of 12 months to open your medical practice. One year before you open, make sure you have all the proper medical training and certifications needed to practice independently. If you don't, you still have time to acquire additional certifications. Six months before opening, you'll need to set up a corporation or LLC, acquire a federal tax ID number, begin the credentialing process, start interviewing potential staff, Five months before opening, you should choose a billing company, choose an EMR program, start looking for a facility to house your practice. Four months out, you should hire a tax professional, obtain malpractice insurance. Three months before opening, don't forget to rent office space, have phone lines installed. Two months before opening, you will apply for city permits if needed, begin marketing your practice, one month before opening, you'll turn on utilities, hire and train staff, get a credit card machine and merchant account, create patient intake and follow-up forms. There's a lot to do before the grand opening of your practice, but with ample pre-planning at least one year in advance, you'll have plenty of times to get all of your ducks in a row. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. 
Business overhead expense insurance is a type of supplemental disability insurance that protects your practice in the case of disability or other unforeseen events. If you are in solo practice, this type of insurance is especially important to have. If you were injured or became ill tomorrow, how would your practice survive? Without a number of fellow physicians or employees to cover you, your patients may not be able to be seen, leading to a loss of income. Without a steady flow of income into your practice, the cost of business overhead expenses could quickly overwhelm you and even lead to business failure. Business overhead expenses insurance covers the cost of running your business when you can't be there. This type of policy provides cash for things like payroll, your rent or mortgage, and even the electric bill. If you're suddenly unable to generate any income due to injury or illness, business overhead expenses insurance is a great short-term solution for shorter-term absences from your practice. Keep in mind that it's also crucial to have disability insurance to protect yourself in the event of a long-term illness or permanently disabling accident. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. The structure, layout, and design of your medical office should facilitate the best working conditions for your staff and the most pleasant experience possible for your patients. Whether you are moving into a new space or constructing a medical office from the ground up, there are three important things to keep in mind. First, consider the upfront costs and long-term benefits of any structural or design changes you'd like to make. For instance, constructing identical exam rooms can be more costly but will save time and money when physicians and nurses are able to quickly and easily locate equipment and supplies. Second, your office should have separate entrances and exits for patients and staff. When patients are kept waiting and see a physician exiting the office, they may become upset and impatient. Separate entrances help to maintain patient morale and assure the physician's privacy. Third, the layout of your office should be circular with a single flow of traffic heading in one direction. Ideally, this loop should begin and end in the reception area. Such a setup prevents hallway traffic jams and unnecessary conversations between physicians and patients. When planning the design, layout, and structure of your medical practice, remember to budget for long-term improvements maintain separate entrances for physicians and patients, and keep office traffic flowing in a single, circular direction. To learn more about medical billing, insurance, coding, outsourcing, and everything you need to establish a successful healthcare practice, follow all of Sherlock Doc's adventures on the doctorsbusinessnetwork.com or Doctors Business Channel on YouTube.